morning this BJ it's the day before Thanksgiving and I've only had one beaver trap out all season I'm getting ready to start really running the water line here tomorrow after all this weather moves through and I've had one beaver trap out and it's gonna be a rough year but hopefully we do some good this is the first beaver I've caught in the 2016 season. Uh, it's not too bad. There's comparison to my foot. But it's a nice easy check. I don't even have to get off the road that much. Whenever you trap, you gotta skin it out. This is how I get paid. Although it's not, doesn't pay that much, but no need in wasting it. I get money off the pelt and then uh, caster glands also. Um, but I'll show you the finished product uh, in a minute. Maybe one of these days I'll make a skinning video whenever I got somebody else here to run the camera for me. But before you get started skinning, there's a few things you're going to need. A piece of sharpening steel. I use a uh, four and a half inch knife and then a uh, beaver pelting knife. Uh, this is brand new. Uh, a beach handle knife uh, for cutting, cutting joints and stuff like that. Fur comb, make sure you get all the cockle birds out, anything else in there. Uh, and then safety, always first. Uh, Always wear a pair of uh, safety glasses. Uh, that way nothing gets splashed in my eyes. Uh, wear these latex gloves. Uh, as you can see, I nick my hands and all kinds of stuff. It's I work for a living with my hands, so I'm always going to have cuts. Uh, and also, over top my latex gloves, I use these uh, cotton gloves. Uh, it kind of gives me a little bit better grip. Okay, whenever I skin out a beaver, I, of course, keep the pelt. Um, there's all kinds of uses for pelts. Uh, a lot of your uh, Stetson hats, uh, your cowboy hats, are made out of uh, beaver. Just so you know. And then, also keep uh, castor glands. They, uh, they use those uh, from medicinal purposes and cosmetics like your perfumes and colognes and everything that's what makes the scent stick with you and beavers use it for um they use it for marking territories um so i uh, hope y'all learned something today and uh i'll flesh this thing out and board it and uh show y'all what it looks like all right Sunday right after church and I'm checking my water line I got a few laying traps out and uh, got a lot to do today but gonna make short work of this and hopefully we got something all right y'all I'm I'm wading in the water and something happened this morning that doesn't happen too much uh, y'all gotta check this out all right, I got this beaver dam back behind me. You see one of my sets right there. I got one right there and one on the other side of the creek here. But I caught this guy running through. I mean, this doesn't happen often at all. Uh, he's actually a pretty good sized little otter. Uh, so I'm going to call this thing in. You got to call them in. They uh, they're kind of rare, but I'm I'm pretty excited. I knew with rain moving in tomorrow, whenever I went to bed last night, that I'd have a good day today. Not only have I caught an otter, I, something else happened too. I just drove up on this guy. He uh, he's a good looking coyote. Uh, this is the third one I caught in this place. Uh, he looks good. Nice and full and prime. Actually worth skinning out. He quit dancing for me. He's kind of being 
it's a miss it, but his his haim is uh, standing up. I'm gonna go ahead and take care of him. Uh, I know he's scared to death. All right, I'm getting to the end of my line today. Um, it's been a pretty good day, but at the same time, my trap to catch ratio hadn't been all that great. Of course, it's still uh, still kind of early yet. Last catch of a day, beaver. I'm gonna take every single one of them I can get. And as you can see, he's not too small. Uh, I'm gonna guess probably a four or five X, maybe. But I'll get them all stretched out and see what he is.